morning, everyone. Welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Today is April Fool's Day, April 1st. Um, I'd love to tell you I have a really good joke for you or we're gonna play bloopers of all the previous videos we've done, but that's not the case today. I just wanna welcome you. Uh, grab your cup of coffee, sit on down, stand on up, whatever you might be doing. Today, we're gonna talk about COVID and tinnitus. So of course we know we've been in our pandemic for over a year now. And I just wanna tell you some of the research that's coming out that we find very interesting here at Complete Hearing. They're doing research now and finding that about 15% of people who have actually had COVID experience ringing in their ears. The secondary thing we are also finding is that the vaccinations are now ongoing and we have people who are experiencing ringing in their ears after the vaccination. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna tell you, this is very early in the stages of development in terms of research and what's going on. So we're gonna keep following this, but I do want to tell you, my patients are asking me why. Why am I getting ringing when I have COVID? How Did you know this was gonna be a symptom or an after effect? Um, did you know for any reason that if I got the vaccine, why am I having ringing? So we're gonna talk about that today. Tinnitus or tinnitus, they are both equally pronounced correct. It's just that ringing sensation that you might get inside your ear. That's where you feel it really is coming from. So typically when we see tinnitus in the office, people have it because the brain just is not getting enough information from the ear. And so that's kind of a rudimentary explanation. But when it comes to COVID and it comes to vaccinations, what we find is ringing can be caused just by the fact that there's inflammation in the body. The body's reacted to something. It could be very temporary. So hopefully if you've had ringing from COVID or you've had the vaccination, had some little bit of ringing that it came and it went. The other thing can be stress, believe it or not. Um, having the pandemic has been very stressful. And so when you think about having stress, maybe not sleeping as well, maybe not eating as well, all of those things actually play a role into the ringing in the ears. So as the research continues on and we start to find things of how is this correlated in any way to COVID-19 or how is it related in any way to the vaccination, you also have to keep in mind that other factors go into it. If you ever come to complete hearing and you have ringing in your ears, we're gonna do three things for you. We're gonna do something called a tinnitus assessment. We're gonna make sure where did this ringing come from? Where did it start? How is it impacting you? We're actually gonna pitch match and volume match that ringing. It helps us diagnostically figure out what this might be caused by, what can we do to help you follow through with it and go through with it. Tinnitus is not normal. What I would tell you is it is your body telling you something. Um, typically it's very, very benign, but it's very, very common. And so it is one of the first signs of hearing loss. And I wanna relate this just a little bit back to the COVID-19 and the vaccination. Just because your ears started ringing doesn't mean you immediately have hearing loss, but we'd like to know why this is happening. So you need to see a doctor of audiology and um, we have an awesome staff here at Complete Hearing who will take care of you um, from not only just making sure we do a thorough intake to make sure we find out what the sign and symptoms are that you're having, but also to do a thorough investigation to find out why, and then to also give you some remedies or treatments to help you along the way. I just want to share that with you today because it's a question we're getting asked a lot about, and we will keep you posted. Uh, we are very dedicated to staying educated, making sure we're following the research and what's happening in regards to our field. So I just wanted to share that with you today. The second thing or the end thing I wanna share with you today, it is April 1st, which means spring is actually here. And in Lincoln, we are experiencing some awesome temperatures. The flowers are out, it's wonderful. What I wanna share with you today is we are participating again this year in the One Day Without Shoes with Cornhusker Bank and the People City Mission. We are a drop off location. I'm gonna pull our sign over here today and just reminds you, um, don't forget, we have the People City, uh, People's Mission here in Lincoln um, does a phenomenal job in supporting our community in such a wonderful way. Pastor Tom and the entire staff there is great. This is a huge need that people have when you think about being homeless and not having socks and not having shoes. That's why we love to participate with this and reach out to the community, but we want you to partner with us. And that just simply means go get some new shoes, some very gently used shoes and drop them off to us. We are taking donations here. Follow us on our website, follow us on our Facebook page. You'll be able to find all the information there as well. We're doing a little fun thing this year that we've done in the past, but we're gonna do a little twist on it this year. We will donate $5 for every pair of shoes that come in. So that's our contribution just for you partnering with us. In addition to that, any individual or any office, so if you have an office group of people that wanna go in on this as well, the office or individual that donates the most amount of shoes um, is gonna get breakfast on us. So we just wanna be a part of the community reaching out and making sure we're all doing good. And this is a great way to support our community here in Lincoln. So uh, jump on board with us. We'd love to have you join us. Have a great week. Great to see you.